Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, blue shaded uh, rectangle uh, fully inscribed uh, in a right triangle, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that the area of this uh, blue rectangle has been given to us uh, as uh, 95 uh, centimeter square. And moreover, uh, this uh, horizontal uh, distance uh, is being represented by x, whereas this uh, vertical segment uh, is y. And now our task is uh, to calculate the value of uh, x uh, and uh, y. And keep in mind that x uh, and y are our positive integers. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we proceed any further, let me go over the basic uh, concepts. And now let's focus on this uh, blue rectangle and keep in mind that all these uh, angles uh, in a rectangle are uh, 90 degrees. And here's our main diagonal. And this diagonal divides the area of this uh, rectangle into two equal parts. If the area of this uh, lower triangle is uh, A, then the area of this uh, upper triangle is going to be A as well since uh, both of these uh, triangles are congruent and if we draw this uh, diagonal the other way around and still the area of this uh, triangle is going to be a and this uh, area is going to be a as well equal areas and now we are going to think uh, outside the box and we are going to draw some auxiliary lines as you can see in this uh, next step and i have drawn uh, this uh, auxiliary right triangle that is congruent to this given uh, right triangle and now let's focus on this uh, rectangle and its uh, diagonal uh, divides this rectangle into two equal parts let's assume that this uh, area over here is uppercase a then the area of this uh, other triangle is going to be uppercase a as well and now let's focus on this uh, rectangle we can see its uh, diagonal divides the area of this uh, rectangle into two equal parts. Let's assume that this uh, area is uh, uppercase B, then this uh, other area is going to be uppercase B as well. And now let's focus on this uh, rectangle. And I'm going to label the area of this rectangle as uppercase C. And now let's make an observation. We can see the area of this uh, lower right triangle, uh, this uh, area is going to be equal to the area of this uh, upper right triangle uh, this one both these areas are equal and now let's make an observation we can see the area the combined area of uh, this uh, lower right triangle is going to be a plus uh, b plus uh, 95 and likewise the combined area of this upper right triangle is going to be a plus b plus c and since uh, this area is equal to this uh, area so therefore i am going to equate uh, both uh, expressions so i can write uh, a plus b plus c is going to be equal to a plus b plus uh, 95 and now we can see a cancels out with this one b cancels out with this one so eventually our c value turns out to be 95 centimeter square so therefore the area of this uh, rectangle that is being represented by c turns out to be 95 and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, segment length uh, is y so therefore uh, this segment length is going to be y as well and likewise uh, if this uh, segment uh, length uh, is uh, x then this uh, segment length uh, is going to be x uh, as well and now let's focus once again on this uh, rectangle whose area is uh, 95 and uh, whose uh, length is uh, x uh, and the width uh, is y. And now let's recall the area of a rectangle formula, area equals to length uh, times width. And in our case, uh, our area of this uh, rectangle is uh, 95, 
the length is x and the width is y so therefore we can write x times y equals to 95 and i'm going to label this our equation number one and please bear in mind that x and y are our positive integers in other words they are going to be our positive whole numbers and now let's focus on 95 it could be broken down to 19 times 5 and we can see 19 is a prime number and 5 is a prime number as well so therefore one of the options we can break down this uh, 95 uh, as uh, 19 uh, times uh, 5 and here we can see 95 could also be broken down as uh, 1 times uh, 95 so therefore our second option to find the factors of 95 are going to be 1 times uh, 90 and these are going to be the possible factors for 95 and now based on this one we are going to find the value of x and y let's assume that x equals to 19 then the other value y is going to be 5 and we can see 19 times 5 is 95 and now we are going to do the other way around if i say x equals to 5 then our y value is going to be 19 and likewise if our x value is 1 then our y value is going to be 95 and finally if our x value is 95 then our y value is going to be 1 so therefore we got four scenarios this is the first scenario this is our second one this is third and finally this is the fourth scenario and all of these are going to be the valid one so thus after all the calculations and manipulations this is our answer if our answer is 19 centimeter then our corresponding y value is going to be 5 centimeter and this is going to be the other way around likewise if our x value is uh, 95 centimeter then our corresponding y value is going to be 1 centimeter and likewise if x value is 1 then corresponding y value is going to be 95 thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye